All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you all. Okay, so that was a lot more fun. That was uh that was good. I saw a lot of you guys talking to each other, uh, at least with the microphone icons, things like that. So that was that's the kind of interaction I hope for. Um, so did anyone come up with anything? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. We'll, we'll get there. What was that, Gabriel? Sorry, I, I, I interrupted you. Uh, saying we were discussing, I mean, uh, we're not sure if we got the right answer. Because well, That's okay. Uh, uncertainty, we were, uncertainty is the path to learning. What did you get? Uh, the answer, I don't. I don't have it yet, but I was trying to figure it out. What signals, what, what signs goes on the formula, you know? Right, that, well, that's, that's what I'm asking is, is, did you determine that part? That's what I really want to know. The answer is just the answer. That's not so big of a deal. So you get the formula right. That's the, that's the big part. Yeah, so uh, uh, you want me to write it down over here, right? No, you don't have to write it down. Just tell me, did you have a plus or a minus in the numerator? Uh, and the numerator is plus, is positive, and the denominator as well is positive. Okay, very good. That is correct. So the correct answer would be, would be just what Gabriel said, the plus and the plus, and you can see the answer there. You can work it out. Yeah. But can, can, can I ask you a question? It just, I mean, I'm still kind of in getting why it should be, uh, for, let's say for, 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 for part A, the denominator is negative. You say as the source gets towards the detector, therefore there are more wavelengths. Right. So it's, it's, the, the question you have to ask yourself as you, as you move away or towards something, is will you see more wavelengths or less wavelengths as you go? Because as you're as as you're as you as if you're more wavelengths mean that as you're moving, right? It takes less distance for whatever wave to get to you than it would have if you were not moving, right? So as you as you move, you're encountering more wavelengths. So so for instance, in the uh, in the example in this problem, right? We're switching, so the bat is now the um, is now the uh, the source, right? Yeah. Or no, the bat's the detector. I'm sorry. Yeah, the bat is the detector. That's now the detector, and the wasp is the source. Yeah. So if the bat is flying towards, if the bat is the bat is the detector, and it's moving towards the source, it'll it'll take less 
if the moth is the source of the waves, the bat will get it will will encounter wavelengths more quickly, and therefore it will see more wavelengths as it approaches the moth. So you want to max. So in order to maximize that, so the frequency should increase, and so in order to maximize that to get an increase in frequency, you need to make the the numerator bigger, right? Yeah. And that's why you get plus. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then for the denominator, similarly, the denominator now, the moth is flying away from the bat, right? So as the moth moves away, it'll take it'll take a wave front longer to get to the moth than it would if it weren't moving. So therefore, the moth sees the frequ a frequency decrease, right? It sees less frequencies. That's what I mean by that. It'll see a frequency decrease. And so if we want to decrease the frequency, we need to make the denominator bigger. Right, so we'll choose plus the denominator, the denominator, and that's and that's how we we get what we get. Okay. All right, now I get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, it, it'll make more sense. It'll make more sense, everybody. Things should be the the at the end of a lecture like this. Things should be go from either unknown or completely confusing to less confusing, and they become you get it when you do it. Right, you get it when you do the homework, when you work on the problems. That's when you really get this stuff. And uh, if you, if you, you know, which is why I insist on the homework. And I, I think you'll find that even if you did well in in classes that didn't maybe require homework uh, in STEM, you know, you might have known the answer, but the skill's a little weak. So you want to practice the skill. You want to get good at it. And that's when it'll make sense. Is when you practice it. All right. Okay. On the homework, we have multiple items, right? We can try many times. Yes, you have 10 times, but I want to make this very clear because I think there's some confusion on it. I am available, like I will be available almost all day Tuesday and all day Thursday and and most of the first part of Monday, like from 10 to about, or I have to, I have to be in the, uh, um, so from about noon to about two or three on Monday. And if you have a question, you should just Zoom me. I mean, I exist to answer that question. So if you're having a problem with the homework or you're having a problem with the, um, with the, with the lectures, you have a question during lecture, when I go over something, Zoom me and I'll answer that question. I'm, I'm available to you. I'm at your disposal to help you understand this stuff. Don't just... Thank you. You have a lot of attempts, but but if you like I said, if you start rage entering at the fifth attempt, uh, check at, check check to see when I'm on Zoom. You know, just the link will be there soon. You know, like it's the first semester, it's the first time I'm doing some of this stuff, so it's going a little clunky. But once it gets set up, it it should be smooth. And yeah, I'm I am here to help you. Um, I don't want you to think that asynchronous means watch the lectures and don't bother me. It means watch the lectures and use me as a resource whenever you need me for a much longer amount of time. Okay, I want to be extremely crystal clear on that. Um, the problems, the, the the reason we meet on Wednesday synchronously is I know it's tempting when we meet like this, when you have this kind of freedom to, to just sort of let it all go. So this forces you to work on problems and do this stuff and remind you, hey, I'm here. But but that's what we're doing. That's that's the design of this. It's supposed to give you flexibility and more access to me, not less. All right. I, I just want to be clear on that. Um, it's uh, uh, on on what on how I've designed this course. So uh, so please please take advantage of it. I'm begging you here. <laughs> um, so uh, so yeah. So practice these problems and work on the homework. You do have many attempts. Um, that's about it for chapter 17. I don't usually cover sonic booms. They're pretty interesting. If you ever hear one, you'll probably hurt your uh, hurt yourself. That's okay. Uh, supersonic um, speeds. You're looking at a, a, a surface cone. You can. These are more fun to look at on YouTube than they are in this picture. I suggest you do that. But um, otherwise, I'm going to stop recording because we're done with Chapter 17.